grassroots campaign, my wife had out some handouts there. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, thank you very much for coming tonight. Thank you to the Rose City uh, Neighborhood Association for putting on this forum. Uh, thank you for your service for the city. Uh, it's an honor for me to be here with all these candidates, and it's really especially an honor for me to be here with you. Um, I ran for mayor in 2004 and was honored to receive about 3,100 votes. Um, I was born in Portland. I, uh, my parents lived in Portland. My grandmother lived in Rose City here. Um, the candidates here are, you know, they have said some very good things, but I think that they're missing a couple things. One is that the chief executive officers of this city are not them. They are you, and, and they haven't listened to you. Uh, the last four years, I don't think has been very good. Um, and I also believe that that what brings people to Portland are neighborhood associations. And I'm proud of the, the um, Rose City Neighborhood uh, uh, Association to partner with the schools. It's also a real pleasure for me to actually see that the key to a city is not so much their children. A city's greatest natural resource is its senior citizens. We need to respect them, we need to honor their, their service and their life, and we need to partner with them. And we need to make Portland a city that works both with children and with seniors. And we need to get them low-cost drugs and we need to keep them in their homes. Um, I'll open it to questions. There's just a couple of, of key things that my platform is. One is crime. I'm going to hire more police officers. Um, I think Mr. Dozano was wrong. The, the city of Portland started out with a half a billion dollar budget, and yet they want to increase your water bills for the next 15 years to keep bridges uh, and uh, bridges and the roads safe, ladies and gentlemen, that is the least that City Hall can do for you. You pay so much in property taxes, you are, you know, you are being taxed to death every year. I, as your mayor, will work with the senior citizens who I affectionately call my gray berets. We'll cut the waste in City Hall, and I will report to you where your money is going. You voted to open Wapato Jail and to run it. It's not being done. You voted this money to keep you safe. It's not being done. It will be when Jeff Taylor is mayor. Thank you. Any questions at all here? Well, then I'll keep talking for a couple more seconds. Um, I've been a small businessman all my life, and it's, uh, and it's an honor. I think really that Portland is ranked in the bottom ten of uh, small business cities. Um, I really want to get it to be number one. We definitely need to cut the taxes for businesses. We need to stimulate business. Uh, again, we have to keep our neighborhoods safe. We have to cut crime. Uh, also, I want to reduce the congestion on the roads. I'm going to work with Washington County, Clackamas County, Clark County. I'm going to also use the Willamette River, which we used to use 150 years ago. I'm going to try to advocate for ferries that will take people to, from Clark County to Portland during the day and then turn them into entertainment centers on the evenings and the weekends. That will be a source for increased tourism. It will also be a permanent source for the <coughs> Portland public schools. And so that we don't, so that the schools don't always have to come hat in hand to you, the citizens, to raise more money. Also, one other quick thing: 30 to 50 percent of Portland City employees will be retiring in the next five years. Think what that's going to do to the PERS, to the pension, to the um, and for increased health care for the people that they have to hire. If we don't have a mayor that's going to cut waste and costs now your taxes are going to go through the roof, and that's not fair, because you're already paying too much. Let me cut the waste, your taxes, my great raise will get it done for you. Thank you very much.